Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another installment of rod reviews of the St. Croix Legend Tournament Bass line of rods. Today I'm doing the casting rip and chatter. The model number on this rod is LBTC72HM. That means it's seven foot two long. It has a heavy power with a moderate action. What's interesting about this rod is that it's both carbon SC4 plus six carbon is, is how uh, St. Croix talks about it, but it also has some glass in it. So it's a carbon glass combination that really makes for an interesting rod. And I think you're gonna like this review. Hello, I'm Joe Michaels, the owner of Fish Point, And this is our media channel, welcome. I started fishing in Arizona in 1985. And in 1986, I joined the Arizona Bass Club. After a few years of learning, I started to win tournaments and eventually I became the angler of the year. Now, about eight years ago, I stopped fishing and boy, have things changed since then. New boats, new motors, new electronics, trolling motors are new, right? New techniques, new baits, a lot of things have changed. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take all that new stuff to me. And I'm going to apply it to my deep knowledge of Arizona bass fishing. And we're going to go do this together. We're going to go out on the water and we're going to catch fish here in Arizona. And remember, like everybody else, please hit the subscription button. Subscriptions are free. They don't cost anything. So that just helps you get notified when new videos are, are out. And we're going to make a bunch of videos. And that helps me um, get my channel up to other viewers. So I appreciate it. So remember, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, hit the like button. Because there's nothing better for me, the, the producer of these shows, to know which kind of shows you guys really like. Even though the purpose of this rod, as St. Croix has designed it, is for chatter baits, I use it for both spinner baits, buzz baits, and then chatter baits. We don't have as much water here in Arizona to use uh, to do chatter bait fishing, at least not around the Phoenix area. So I, I'm using it for spinner baits and uh, buzz baits. For example, this buzz bait right here, this is a, about a half ounce buzz bait. And I, this rod will handle this half ounce buzz bait perfectly. So uh, it, it makes it really castable. It's highly accurate when the casting, and that's because of the heavy power. The heavy power allows you to use heavier baits. This, this rod is rated for a half ounce all the way up to one and a quarter ounces. So there's no question that this rod can handle this, this buzz bait. And I have this spinner bait here, which is actually a three quarter ounce uh, spinner bait. It's got the hidden weight in it. And I can easily throw this heavy spinner bait with this rod, fantastic. Also, I've used this in the springtime I haven't used it in a while, but in spring time to throw a spinner bait like this, it's kind of like a, obviously a mini A-rig. Again, it's quite hefty, but this rod absolutely positively can throw this bait perfectly. What's interesting about the, the action of the rod being moderate and with the, some glass in it is that, you know, when a fish is coming up to eat a buzz bait or if a fish is going to come up to eat a chatter bait, when the fish grabs it and turns, right, that rod being a moderate action starts to give a little bit quicker, allowing that fish to get that bait better in its mouth. Another important aspect of that moderate um, action, especially if you're throwing a buzz bait and you're, you're out there and you're watching the buzz bait, which I try not to do very often, but if I'm watching that buzz bait and I see the fish come up and I, I might set a little, a little too fast on the set, this rod slows that transfer of energy from my body through the rod to the line to the bait. It slows it down. That moderate action helps, again, allowing that fish to hopefully, okay, with buzz baits, you can only say hopefully, hopefully grab that bait better and engulf that bait so you can, when you finally get the full power of the hook set to them, that fish has that bait. What I also like about this rod is I'm throwing these buzz baits and the spinner baits in pretty heavy cover, and this heavy action really gives me the power that I need to manage that fish in that heavy cover. This is a pretty incredibly great rod for all that. Now next up, I'm just gonna give you a description, the model number, all, all the specs of the rod. So let's go watch that. This is the St. Croix Legend Tournament Rip and Chatter Rod. The rod specifications are as follows. The model number is LBTC72HM. The technique is Rip and Chatter and the price is $315.
The length is 7 foot 2 and it weighs 4.59 ounces. The power is heavy and the action is moderate, giving this rod its unique characteristics. The line weight recommendations are from 12 to 20 pounds and the lure rate recommendations are one half ounce to one and a quarter ounces. And note that this is an SC4 plus carbon rod with glass. And again, that's what makes this rod unique. The rod handle has a split grip handle. The real seat is a Fuji SK2. The seat lock is a machine cut anodized aluminum. Very nice to the touch. It has nine Fuji K-Series tangle-free guides with alkalite rings. The rod technologies include the SC4 Plus hybrid carbon fiber. What this means, well, SC, by the way, stands for St. Croix, and four is their fourth level of uh, carbon. The plus stands for their sixth level. So this is a combination uh, of rod that they combine the SC4 and SC6 together to make the rod lighter, more sensitive, and a better balance for these uh, technique-optimized models. It uses an integrated polycurve technology. Polycurve, poly just stands for polynomial curve and something you would use if you're using a CAD system to design things. So they're using CAD systems to design the rods. What I find amazing as a software guy is that they can then take those models and cut these long mandrels that are really tiny on the tips, if you will, and uh, tapered with the curves all along the body of the mandrel to the base. Uh, to me, that's the impressive part, is, is the ability for machines to cut that, to make them smooth and perfect. It's fascinating. They also use art reinforcing technology, which they claim adds up to 10% strength with no increase in the blank. Um, I believe what this means is some they'll take some carbon and they'll wrap it in key areas to make it stronger. And finally, the FRS is the fortified resin. They take their super resins uh, with computer-operated curing, which means an oven, and they, they bake these rods, uh, running them through a curing process at different temperatures. It helps make these rods stronger. Some rods use the IAC technology, which adds a layer of fiberglass to the carbon. This makes rods using that technology much more suitable for reaction style fishing techniques, such as topwater, crankbaits, spinnerbaits, chatterbaits, and buzzbaits. All this technology adds up to a 15 year warranty from St. Croix for the owner and anybody who has the rod. So that's pretty impressive. They, they stand behind the rods for 15 years. That's amazing and incredible, frankly. So let's move on. Next, let's take you out to the courtyard where I take the rod, I attach it to a stationary object, I put load on that rod so that you can see the action of that rod when it's put under load. So let's go get, let's go see that. Now this rod is a heavy, moderate action. So let's watch it do its thing when I give it some pressure. You notice how I'm giving a pressure, how it's bending. You can see that it's kind of bending almost halfway. Nice parabolic bend halfway, I would say. Maybe not quite, but close. And as I put more pressure on it, see how that rod is responding? So this is a, wow, look, that, that's how this odd rod works. And it is it's unique, I, I like it, and it's a heavy power. So I'm putting a lot of pressure on this rod right now. Okay, so as I'm doing that, you can see the, the, the arch, <laughs> if you will, that it's producing. And this is because it's a heavy rod with a moderate action. So as you noted from the thumbnail, I give this rod five stars. I do that because I use a technique called DMRVP to review the rod. It stands for Description, Meaning, Relevance, value and purpose. Okay, so I've given you the full description of this rod. And I've given you the purposes that I want for this rod, spinnerbaits, buzzbaits, chatterbaits. It fulfills those purposes quite well. Let's talk about the value. Value is importance, utility, and worth, and the worth is generally the cost. So this rod costs $315, as I've noted. I think it's in the middle of the range of, of the pricing of the rods. So, you know, that's okay. And, and it's priced that way because it uses uh, SC4 carbon. It uses some combined with SC6, you know, so it's got a mixture of carbon. It has some really nice 
uh, uh, you know, aluminum parts on it. The handles are, are fine, they're, they're good. And for me though, the, the reason I'm willing to pay $315 for this rod is it's a light rod. That's one of the benefits of the SC4 Plus line of rods that this, this, this rod has is the lightness. I'm an older guy, I need the lightness, it's good. This rod has a lot of meaning. The meaning is how it affects my concerns. Again, the lightness of the rod, it being fairly light is, helps because I'm a little older guy and it, 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 you know, the lighter rod is better. The action of the rod is just critical. The, the ability to cast and the, be able, the ability to manage the fish. I am not a person who needs massive sensitivity in a rod. As a matter of fact, I think that's not very important. What's important to me and is the, how I can cast it. Can I cast it accurately? Does the rod handle the baits I'm throwing? Does the rod handle the baits I want to throw? And, and this suits that needs very, very well. That's why I'm going to give it five stars. And this rod is very relevant to me because it s handles more than one thing. I can throw spinner baits. Let's say in the spring, I can throw buzz baits later in the years when we typically do it here in Arizona. And then, you know, when I go to lakes that have grass and they're, they're in the grass biting, I have a, a great rod for chatter baits. Okay. So I think this is an incredibly good rod. Another thing I know I could use do with this rod is I could put on a very a heavy walking bait like a spook it'll handle that application very well so there's multiple things I can do with this rod and that really fulfills some some of the my needs and concerns that I have about this rod if you like this video please you know subscribe I'm going to do a bunch more reviews of the St. Croix rod line here like it because that helps the algorithms and also leave a comment below what rod you know, would you like me to review next? Perhaps just give me a comment. And if there's anything about this review that you don't like, also let me know because that way I can make some adjustments moving forward. But anyway, please like and subscribe. Hope to see you soon. Hope to see you out on the water. Take care and have a great day.